only to find that the raft has come undone from its makeshift mooring. They manage to find the robber skiff and immediately take off. Within a short time, they see the wrecked steamship floating downstream far enough below the waterline to have drowned everyone on board. Subsequently, they reclaim their original raft and continue down the river with both the raft and the canoe. As Jim and Huck continue floating downstream, they became close friends. Their goal is to reach Cairo when they can take a steamship up the Ohio River and into the free states. However, during a dense fog with Huck in the canoe and Jim in the raft, they are separated. When they find each other in the morning, it soon becomes clear that in the midst of the fog, they passed Cairo. A few nights later, a steamboat runs over the raft and forces Huck and Jim to jump overboard. Again, they are separated as they swim for their lives. Huck finds the shore and is immediately surrounded by dogs. After managing to escape, he is invited to live with a family called the Grangerfords. At the Grangerford home, Huck is treated well and discovers that Jim is hiding in a nearby swamp. Everything is peaceful until an old family feud between the Grangerfords and the Shepherd Sons is rekindled. Within one day, all the men in the Grangerford family are killed, including Huck's new best friend, Buck. Amit, the Charles, Huck runs back to Jim and together they start drowned river again. Further downstream, Huck rescues two humbugs known as the Duke and the King. Immediately, the two men take control of the raft and start to travel downstream, making money by cheating people in the various towns along the river. The Duke and the King develop a scam they call the Royal Nonisuch, which earns them over $400. The scam involves getting all the men in the town to come to a show with promises of great entertainment. After a great deal of planning, the boys convince the town that a group of thieves is planning to steal Jim. That night, they collect Jim and start to run away. The local farmers follow them, shooting as they run after them. Huck, Jim and Tom manage to escape. But Tom is shot in the leg. Huck returns to town to fetch a doctor, whom he sends to Tom and Jim's hiding place. The doctor returns with Tom on a stretcher and Jim's in chains. Jim is treated badly until the doctor describes how Jim helped him take care of the boy. When Tom awakens, he demands that they let Jim go free. After this revelation, Jim tells Huck to stop worrying about his pap and reveals that the dead man in the floating house was in fact Huck's father. And Sally offers to adopt up Huck, but he refuses on the grounds that he had tried that sort of lifestyle once before. But it did not suit him. Huck concludes the novel stating he would never have undertaken the task of writing out his story in a book had he known it would take so long to complete. Thank you children. I hope you all enjoy this module. See you in the next module.